Welcome out to It's All Been Done Radio Hour. This week we have a new episode of Universe Journey. But first, we have some shout outs. Circle 270 Media, which this podcast is part of. It's All Been Done presents our wonderful host site. It produces podcasts, videos, written work, and so much more. You can check it out at iabdpresents.com. And Red Herring Theater, our home venue for live performances. And speaking of live performances, our next live show is Saturday, July 31st. Get your tickets at redherring.info. And now, without further ado, it's All Been Done Radio Hour. This is Universe Journey. It's 2428. The ASS Thrifty has been destroyed. Its captain demoted and its core crew have finally reunited on Eastwood Station near the planet Surreptitia, where they hold off the invasion from the Echo Dimension, a twisted version of their own universe. First, Commander Richard U. Kake, who was in charge of Eastwood Station, but took off to surrender himself in order to bring peace with the command domain. And it worked. One more down, one more to go. Woohoo! Also, uh, I am I am in charge. Am I in charge? No. You left Commander Takaladi in command of Eastwood Station. Right. I am so mad at you, Dick. You didn't tell me where you went. I think Takaladi might be more mad at Jay, her boyfriend, who turned out to be Admiral Jameson's son from the Echo Dimension. I'm mad at them both. Uh, uh, the Echo version of me's son. He's not my son. My son died years ago. Right. Next, Commander Meow Meow, the liaison between the ASS and the Kaman people, whose Echo duplicate just murdered his sister and parents. What? That is not information I possessed. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, that was rough. They did not die quickly. Uh, but, you know, the intros aren't canon anyway, so you did not find that out from me. There's Commander Colm Foley, Chief Engineer of Eastwood. Hi. I'm just happy to be back among me friends. Last but not least, an android member of the Science Department, Ensign New. I am also learning how to sing. Singing is stupid. Dick? Space! We are in you! We travel far beyond the stars From Pluto all the way to Mars and beyond For we go much, much, much further With lots of enthusiastic fervor Our mission is never ending like Facebook, we'll be ever friending. Join us every month on our journey. Though you may want an attorney, for we won't be held liable for your claims. And if you ask us again, we'll say the same, 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 same. Tonight's season five finale, come on up and we begin at ASS Command on Earth in the office of Admiral Jenko, the leader of the fleet. She is speaking via video call to the head of the Echo Dimension Project, Admiral Jamie Jameson, who is on Eastwood Station. And so the Surreptish are refusing to drop the murder charges against Commander Meow Meow, despite the evidence we presented proving he was on Eastwood at the time of the murders. Ridiculous. Yes. They believe the DNA evidence putting him on at the scene, but not the evidence we presented to them. That doesn't make any sense, Jamie. Uh, nor do the Surreptidians. Fair point. Perhaps we should bring Meow Meow back to Earth for his own protection. I suggested that. He thinks running will only make him look more guilty, and he would like to remain on Eastwood. Well, we'll certainly need to replace him as liaison. He'd uh, like to keep his position, too. How the hell is he supposed to do his job if he can't set foot on his homeworld without being arrested? I don't know, Admiral Jenko, but I trust Meow Meow. If he thinks he can continue to serve while he's- Fine. Uh... We won't replace him. For now. 
but still no sign of the echo, Meow Meow. No, sir. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Well, Lieutenant Sochi is dead, and so Lieutenant Commander Tharn... Yes, what... I remember. Bastard took a suicide pill when we went to arrest him. Three invaders left. I'd say three individuals couldn't do a whole lot, but... Well, we'll find the unknown infiltrator. We've got ASS ships and bases scanning for her DNA on a regular basis. It makes me uneasy. Echo Meow Meow and Echo Janus Jameson are known entities. They're limited in their movement, and we've got Meow Meow pinned down to Surreptidia. Yes, sir. No ship is leaving the planet without us scanning for him. At that last one. Not knowing who she is, where she is. I don't like it, Jamie. Me neither, Admiral Janko. Keep me updated. If there's nothing else... One more thing. I know it's none of my business, but Commander Kake is... You're right. He's none of your business. I have to decide what to do with him. Have you decided, sir? Yes. And? And you'll learn soon enough, along with the rest of the fleet. All right, Admiral. Jameson out. All right. Let's get this over with. On the mall of Eastwood Station. Mish! Jay? They let me go. I know. Luna told me. They couldn't find anything to charge you with. Yes, they decrypted my file from the OSS and it backed up what I've been saying all along. I'm not a threat. She told me that too. Mish, I am so sorry no, that I- No, Jay, don't. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. But you did. You get that, right? You get that however good your intentions were, you did lie to me. But I didn't mean... Yes, I get it. Good. Do you think there's any chance we might be able to just get To just to... forget about what happened? I don't think so. You don't have to forget, but can you try to understand my position, why I did what I did? I do understand, Jay. That doesn't make it any easier. So, where will you go? Well, the wormhole's closed. I can't go home. Oh, right. I, I thought I'd stay here, for now, if you'll let me. The ASS protects a free society, and Eastwood Station has civilian apartments. I have no say over if you stay on the station or not. You do. Listen, if you want me to leave, I'll leave. It's up to you, Jay. But you must have an opinion. Do you want me here? It doesn't matter what I want. It does. <laughs> I st I'm still in love with you, Mish. Nothing that has happened has changed that. Do you still have feelings for me? I don't know. Then I'll stay. All right. Can we just I maybe find- I don't think that's a good idea. I'll see you around, Jay. See you, Michelle. In the conference room of the station. You're awfully brave, Commander Meow Meow. Bravery has nothing to do with it. I will do my job until I can't do it any longer. Uh, I think I'd be looking for a new job. I am glad you are staying, Meow Meow. Thank you, Nyo. I don't know, lad. Seems mighty dangerous. I've got most of the booby traps dismantled, but new ho who knows how many other back doors they built into this place that I haven't found yet. I have confidence in you, Chief Foley, and your ability to make sure the station remains safe. Aye, but I'd feel more comfortable if you put a wee bit of distance between yourself and the planet. I can't leave now, I just... I cannot. Not with him lurking about. I'm sorry, lad. I didn't mean to upset you. I am not upset! Oh. Are you sad because your family has perished? Of course I am, Neil. But you did not get along with them. That doesn't mean I wanted them dead. I do not understand. Oh, lass. Families can be pretty complicated. Oh, I know it's, I mean, when I was growing up on the pool. Sorry, I'm late. You're not late, lass. It hasn't started yet. Commander Tokolati, do you think Commander Kake will get to return to Eastwood Station? I don't know, New. He must be allowed to return. We, we don't know what he did, lad. He went to the commands. They have called off the war. Therefore, he must have successfully sued for peace. I don't know. We just don't have any details. <sighs> I'm so mad he didn't loop any of us in. I'm kind of used to it. Thanks for including me in this, by the way. Of course. You're one of us, Anders. Ah. Uh... There he is. 
coming into the courtroom now. Commander Kake did a great service for the fleet. That should be recognized. Maybe. But if he did, he did so completely on his own. Janko doesn't like that. Aye. But he's come through before, and Janko's fair. His reasons are good enough. She'll see it. If Commander Kake chooses to share his reasons, last time he did not, and he was demoted. Do you think they'll demote him again? No, I do not. Whew! Thank goodness! I think he may be fired and or imprisoned. Oh, crap. He will not be fired or imprisoned, you'll see. We don't know that. Damn it, Dick! Why the hell did you do it this way? Why didn't you let us help you? Commander Tokolati, the video conference is not two-way. He cannot hear you. I know, New. I know. Look, there's Jenko. Here we go. Am I late? Nearly. At ASS Command. Rise, Commander Kake. Hello, Admiral Jenko. You're looking pretty great today. If I were you, I would cut out the shenanigans, Kake. Yes, sir. Before I make my ruling, do you have anything you wish to say for yourself? Uh, yes, I have uh, prepared a statement. Proceed. Admiral Jenko, all in the ASS who are watching at home, I am guilty of the charges against me. I did go around the chain of command and I did disobey the standing orders about approaching the commands without permission. I did abandon my post, but I had good reason. Millions of good reasons, those that were dying every day in this war. You wish to evoke the brave souls who have lost their lives in this conflict as your excuse? It isn't an excuse, Admiral. Each and every one of them weighs heavily on me, and I'm, I'm sure it does you as well. You are correct in that assumption. I was there when the war started. I did my best to stop it, but I, I failed. It was my mistake, not my first one, and certainly not my last, but one that really haunted me. I can imagine. I was hoping you were going to say it wasn't my fault, but okay. Look, I had a plan that I thought might put an end to this conflict. I knew it was risky, and I didn't want to give you the chance to say no. I would not have approved your mission. Right, and that's my point. But I had a real opportunity here. A chance to stop all the bloodshed. And we needed to stop it, because God knows we have other threats to worry about. Look, I know I was arrogant, and I know it was borderline stupid. Borderline? Uh, fine, it was stupid. But mm. I, I had to try. And I'm glad that I did. But if you had failed, who knows how you may have exacerbated things. Plus... You just left the station you were supposed to be running with zero notice. Uh, yes, but I left Commander Tokolati in charge, and she's at least as good as I am. That was not your decision to make. You're right. I'm sorry. I, I throw myself at your mercy. You have no choice in the matter. True, but I throw myself anyway. I have just one question for you, Kake. Are you sorry? No. No. Whether it worked out or not, I, I had to do it, and I'd do it again. It is within your right to fire me, jail me, whatever you want to do. But if I hadn't done it, sir, I, I just had to do it. I had to do it, sir. That is the correct answer, Kake. It is? I want to make this very clear to all who are listening. I do not approve of officers going off on their own and trying risky, idiotic stunts like this. The typical punishment will not just be losing rank, but a long jail sentence. This blatant bucking of chain of command will not be tolerated. However, in this specific instance, and in this instance only, Dick Kake did a very good thing for all of us that will likely save countless lives. In fact, we are in negotiations with the commands now for their help against the Echo Dimension, so the total number of those Kake's actions have saved won't be known for some time to come. And so, I offer the thanks of the entire fleet and all the worlds we protect to you, Dick Kake. You have our sincere and deepest gratitude. Um, 
Thank you. I accept. You will also accept the consequence of your actions. Of course. Which are that you will be reinstated to the rank of captain retroactively effective to the date of your demotion in terms of services and benefits. Hey, uh, w w what? You will receive your back pay within 30 days. Uh, oh, okay. Also, working with Admiral Jameson, you will command not only Eastwood Station and the ASS Thrifty Too Fast Too Furious. It was Tokolati's idea. It doesn't matter. You will command not only the station and the starship, but serve as fleet commander under Jameson for all tactical movements against the Echo Dimension. Wow, Admiral, I, I don't quite know what to say. I never thought I'd see the day, Captain Kake. To be honest, me neither. I have ruled. This case is dismissed. As the cameras go off, Kake approaches Jenko privately just before she exits the empty chamber. Admiral Jenko? After all this, there's still something else you need to say to me, Kake? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, since we're past all this now, it probably doesn't matter anymore, but there's something I should tell you. What? The destruction of the Thrifty? I did it to protect Captain Yee's cover in the Kaman domain. He was suspected of passing the ASS information and I needed to make sure the Kamans didn't think he was doing it. Th though he was. The whole time. A lot of those leaks that were passed along to the ASS intelligence? That was Yee's. Through me. Why didn't you tell me? I was worried about some mole in the ASS that would expose Yee's. Did you ever see any signs that a mole existed? Well, not personally, no, but I couldn't be sure, and it was likely. Is that all? Yes, sir. What makes you think I didn't already know that? Did you? I'm the head of the ASS, Captain Kake. Nothing escapes my notice. Dismissed. Thank you, Admiral. Admiral's Diary. Private. Encrypted entry, my eyes only, or for the next head of the ASS in the event of my death. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I can't fucking believe it. Kake working with the commands in secret this whole time. How the hell did anyone in the fleet figure that out? Intelligence, my ass. Damn it, I knew Kake was good, but this is just insane. I mean, come on. This is the tale of our noble crew. Kake is a captain again. Yippee. Uh, join us in August, my friends, for a whole new season on another universe journey. It's All Been Done Radio Hour, number 303, Universe Journey, episode 67, Come On, Uppence, was written by Jerome Wetzel and directed by Kristen Green. It starred Nick Argenbright as Kake, Katie Boisenault as Takalati, Shane Stefanchik as Meow Meow, Seamus Talty as Foley, Kristen Green as New, Keith Jackson as Jameson, Jessica Gibson as Admiral Jenko, Ryan Yoey as Anders, and Chase McCants as Jay Jameson. This episode was narrated by Darren Essler, and our Foley artist is Seamus Talty. Our technical director is Shane Stefanchik. Our music director is Kristen Green. Theme songs are composed by Nathan Haley with lyrics by Jerome Wetzel. And the podcast is edited by Chris Allen. Please check out our website, itsallbeendoneradiohour.com. You can follow us on social media at IABD Presents. We are on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Also on Facebook, there is a separate page for It's All Been Done Radio Hour. Have a great week. It's All Been Done Presents. Who's got the time?